What's going on, y'all? This is JD. I want to talk about this 2009 ES asteroid that China's largest telescope on Blue Mountain has discovered back in the beginning of the summer. Now, I've been doing my research on this supposed asteroid that apparently has probably already passed Earth or is supposed to hit Earth like any time. All right, now, from what I've read and what I've saw on video, apparently Russia and the United States of America has shot some nuclear missiles towards this asteroid, I guess maybe a month or so ago. The first rocket apparently missed the asteroid. The second one that they shot apparently struck it and broke it up into like thousands of pieces. And uh, I guess they figured by shooting this asteroid that it would defer it and pieces would go off, you know, and it would pass Earth and go around us and not hit us. All right. Now, everything else that I know about this is that it's supposed to either hit in Canada or in Mexico or possibly in the Atlantic Ocean. All right. Well, today's the 26th. So where the fuck is this asteroid? All right. You know, the United States of America is not going to, you know, scare the hell out of millions and millions of people and say, hey, man, you know, you're going to fucking die. You know, I mean, that's that's not going to happen. Um, you know, they're good for covering up shit, just like they did with 9-11. Um, so personally, in my opinion, I don't honestly believe that an asteroid is going to strike Earth, but it did happen. Apparently, that's what wiped out the dinosaurs. Um you know, it is what it is. Nobody has, you know, called me or talked to me about this topic. And my friends that I have, uh, you know, up north, you know, they like to watch the news. Um, they're all into science. You know what I mean? Uh, I got a couple buddies of mine that own some telescopes. You know what I mean? And they're always gazing at the moon and shit like that. So hold on for one second while I correct this dog. So what I want to say is, is that. If you take a look at the moon through a telescope, you will notice craters all over the moon where asteroids have hit the moon. All right. You know, it, it happens. We see falling stars. We see little meteorites coming into the earth. You know, we have meteor showers, little tiny stones, probably no bigger than that right there. Maybe a little bit bigger. They might even be bowling ball size. But by the time, you know, they hit the ground, they're just a little pebble. All right. If you watch that show, Meteor Hunters, or Meteorite Men, or whatever, they go around with a magnet on the end of a stick, and that magnet will pick up one of them rocks because of the metals that's in the rock. It will stick to it. Now, apparently, one of those rocks about that size right there is worth about $20,000, all right? Half of this size, it sells for about ten grand. All right? That's crazy. But there are science labs, you know, uh, scientists that will buy that stone just so they can look at it, you know what I mean, and, and see what kind of, you know, metals and minerals or whatever that's, that's in that rock. All right, let's, I'm getting off the topic. Let's get back to this meteorite or this big meteor that's supposed to be catastrophic and it will just like wipe us all out. Well, on the Internet, it said between the 23rd and the 26th. All right, that's just three days. Well, today's the 26th. I was outside last night gazing up at the skies, and I didn't see anything. I didn't see no, you know, falling stars. You know, I didn't see anything. Um, I don't know how many people remember the hale Bop comet, but you could see that meteorite from Earth. I mean, I saw it. You could see the, the trail coming off of it as it was whipping past the planet, probably beyond our satellites. Now, they're claiming that the one that just passed Earth passed just on the outside of our satellites. When it comes back in 2023, it's supposed to be on the inside of our satellites, which that kind of scares me because if something's going to pass in between Earth and our satellites, which are not that far out there, it's going to destroy a lot of satellites. It's bound to hit a few of them, wouldn't you think? All right, so... Today's the deadline. Today's the final day, you know what I mean, of this supposed asteroid that's supposed to smash into Earth. Now, if this did happen, or let's just say it happens 
two days from now. Let's just say that them scientists was not 100% correct. They don't know exactly when it's going to hit or even if it's out there at all. But there are a lot of shit on YouTube and on the internet that I've watched over the past two or three days about 2009 ES. Now, you people can go check it out. I'm going to upload a fucking couple videos. You know, the links will be right there. You can check them out. You know, tell me what you think. You know, and my question is, if a meteorite was going to hit Earth, what would you do? What would you do in your final hours? I mean, because, I mean, it's space is endless. Remember that, people. It's endless. We don't know what's out there 50 million miles away from the planet. You know what I mean? We, they, they, all they do is they look through the eye. They see something that wasn't there yesterday. They put a circle around it. What the fuck is this? All right? So, I'm not, you know, saying that it's not possible that something like that can happen because, you know, apparently it already has happened on Earth. I mean, they're claiming that's what wiped out all the dinosaurs, maybe killed all human mankind on the planet. You know what I mean? Um, maybe a meteorite slammed down into the Atlantic or the Pacific Ocean, and it caused great floods all over the world, and, you know, polar ice caps to melt, and it took millions of years for all that to rebuild itself, you know what I mean, and get to where we are today. Now, I have a few people that hit me up and they're like, hey, man, they're skeptical. You know, they're skeptical about the book. They don't believe that the Bible is is is, is legit. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, and there's a lot of things that you can read in that book that will make you think like, hmm, come on, man. Is this fucking real? Is this a fictional book or is this a non-fictional book? You know, I'm not going to go the religious route because I believe in my higher power. You know, I love Jesus. You know what I mean? I believe the man was here and there's proof that he was here. You know what I mean? I mean, this, you know, who writes bullshit stories? Stephen King and a whole bunch of other fucking writers out there. There's a lot of fictional books out there, man, all right, that are fake. But nobody knows for sure whether or not the Bible is real. But I can tell you what is real, and that's a fucking asteroid hitting this planet. That can happen. Now, like I said, what would you do in your final hours? Let's just say they broke on the news today. CNN, Fox, ABC, NBC, MSNBC, all of them. Let's just say all the news channels broke on the airwaves and said, get ready to die. What are you going to do? Let's just say you got 24 hours to live. Where are you going? What are you going to do? Most people are going to fucking panic. A lot of people will probably commit suicide. You know what I mean? I mean, honestly, think about it. I mean, that is insane. All right? And that would terrify millions and millions of people. So for China to go ahead and put it out there that there's a fucking asteroid hurling towards Earth, that's pretty scary. I mean, honestly, I mean, how many people over the past two or three days have been standing outside at nighttime gazing up to the stars? I know I was last night. In between some clouds and shit, I saw some twinkles. You know what I mean? You see a little twinkle, twinkle here and there. You know, and being here in Florida, man, there's all kinds of weird shit in the fucking skies down here. I thought it was bad in Santa Monica, looking out there in the Santa Monica Bay with all that bullshit that's going on out there. You know, and Santa Monica's the hub of all UFO and USO activity. No lie. Watch the videos. A lot of that shit is photoshopped and fake, but there's a lot of shit out there that's unexplained. Especially the footage from Vero Beach, Florida. That shit's pretty fucking wild. I just uploaded that video, you know, minutes ago. Check it out. In the meantime, I'm not going to drag this out because there's no need to put 10 or 15 minutes into this bullshit conversation. All right, But what I can tell you is... is Feel free to make your comments. Tell me what you would do if you were in your final 24 to 48 hours of living. All right? Talk to you all later. Peace out. And check it out, man. I mean, just do your research. You know, do your history, man. That's all I'm telling you all to do. Have a good one. Peace out.